All these celebrities not the year. Stop ignoring your DMs. That is something I want to share with you guys right now. You need to understand that Buju actually missed the chance to have a song with 21 Savage because he ignored DMs from uh, 21 Savage. That is something a lot of people are really talking about right now. And this guy has shared it on social media and it's all went viral at a time like this. According to a post, it's a Buju miss out on working with 21 Savage and the uh, chain smokers because he failed to check his IG DMs. That is coming in right now. And uh, you know, this is a missed opportunity. And next time, I think uh, this guy will not really miss that chance again because he has learned the hard way. That is what is really trending on social media. You know, these celebrities, they know how to ignore social media, you know, DMs and the rest. And this actually affected, um, you know, Buju at a time like this. I think sometimes you have to read your DMs. You have to check carefully that is what i believe about this whole thing do you believe timaya timaya has come out to say you know what you know person of rema is a king of his generation right now because he's not in competition with anybody and a lot of people are really disputing that why some people agree with timaya to an extent to me i agree with timaya to an extent because when you check um the statistical grossing of rema when you check uh, the streams and what he has achieved within a short period of time you will give it up for rema among his uh, generations that is something i kind of understand he is the future of afrobeat to an extent because he's already fitting into the shoes of brother boy the video and whiskey and that we can really understand based on his uh, international collaborations and uh, you know achievements guys i want you to listen to uh, this particular uh, kind of beat right now because a person of blackface came out to accuse charlie poppy of copying his songs and that is really disturbing at the time you know many people have been flooding social media to say you know what blackface now everybody they copy him song and all those kind of things but you know blackface shared something and a lot of people with unbiased mind, they will understand that there was a copy somewhere. Let's listen to it. That was Blackface's uh, innovation of that song. That was Charlie Poppy's version of the song. What can you actually make out of this? I think based on what I've heard, these songs or these beats are similar to an essence. And we need to actually acknowledge Blackface in this particular whole thing. And uh, if it were to be developed world, I think this is really a proper case to be investigated and to be you know taken to court to an extent i think blackface is not really lying about the whole thing based on the timing of this song being posted or being released that is something i kind of understand about the big story what is your own take and a lot of people are saying what of if charlie poppy actually did the song first that is the uh, contest right now a lot of people are really arguing on guys i know many people they don't like the video uh, i know you know a lot of informations have been you know trending on social media and then a lady has been trending also on social media according to this lady she said you know the video is my homies and we all grew together we stayed in atlanta together and all those kind of things and people does not want to see it from that point of view because a picture of the video and this lady holding themselves actually made it to the social media and people concluded that the video is cheating on Choma with this person i went to this person's page he never said anything about the video or you know dating the video or so she said the video is a homies and the video is a friend of her and that is something we need to actually respect and some people have been sharing some kind of information you know doctoring some kind of post on social media just to further blackmail the video what are you going to gain from all of this that is something i kind of ask right now because the lives of Choma will be heartbroken seeing all of this being peddled on social media it's up to the extent that they went ahead to copy a video of the video maybe it's a skit or something 
and then decided to craft a story around our video and linked it with this. I think we need to respect people's privacy. That is what a lot of people are really saying. This lady has come out to say, I'm pissed about all of this. Nigerians are really, really, you know, dragging me into a kind of chaotic uh, state right now, trying to destroy somebody's relationship. I think people that does not love Choma or does not like Choma the video's relationship, they are the ones fighting this particular fight right now, trying to drag down the video on this. What are they going to gain? That is the question I'm really asking at a time like this. What are they going to gain? Keep asking that question because a lot of people, they are going to gain a lot when somebody, you know, crashes. When somebody is hot, they are happy. That is an evil seed being planted in them by Lucifer and they need to actually check it to an extent. That is something I believe about that. The whole thing you're hearing about the video, you know, flirting with this person or cheating Choma with this person is really, really false according to this person. And this person has been dragged into the middle of it and her business, her, you know, kind of brand is at stake because of all of this. And I think we have to respect people's uh, reputation a bit. What is your own take about this story? I want you to put it in the comment section, what you feel about all of this so far. A lot of people are just, you know, evil in themselves. Man, you know, timeless tour at Madison Square US, what are you expecting from the video? I want you to put that in the comment section because this is going to be massive. That is something I believe about that. This is going to be all interesting. The video decided to say, let me try and shut down Madison Square and it's already doing that. A lot of people are just trying to like, you know, cut all of those shots, but it's not going to work. God has been on the side of David o, and we have to support him and his family at a time. We have to understand that these guys are really human beings themselves. You know, they get hot. You know, they have emotions. And when we peddle some kind of false news about them on social media, their family is being hurt. That is something we need to actually understand. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afro B blog across social media platforms. When people don't like you, they believe every negative things about you. That is the story of the video right now trending on social media. And a lot of people are really talking about it. While some people are already inside the story and believing everything that is coming out. I think somebody is coming out with some fake stories just to discredit the video. That is something I believe about that whole thing. A particular post on social media about the video linking up with a um, particular US model uh, actually made it to the social media. And this person apologized to the public that uh, she actually uh, mistakenly posted that. And when you look at the video's face in that picture, you will understand that it was years ago of the video. And some people are now bringing forward the story as if it is now and some people are believing the story and some persons have adjacked the whole thing just to trend some negative vibes about the video and not forgetting that the video is married and uh, Joma is at a fragile state right now because of what happened to her in you know 2022 or so and a lot of people need to actually respect the video and his family at this i keep saying it but some persons are not really interested in whatever happens to this guy provided the pedal negative information about this guy i have to go to uh the gorgeous uh, you know doll uh, social media page I got to understand that she is a friend of Davido. According to what she came out on social media to say that Davido is a homeboy to her. And because it's like they grew up together and all those kind of things. And uh, they've been friends. And now people are selling other stories to blogs out there to believe that Davido has been flirting with this or cheating with this uh, particular model 
on Choma, and that is you know heartbreaking at the time. And also a video of David, o, you know, actually um kind of uh, kneeling down, begging somebody. I think maybe it's a comedy skit or something like that. Was infused into the whole story just to make people believe that David o is a serial cheat and all those kind of things. I think we need to stop all of this. Because David o is not uh, an angel, he's a human being and you need to understand that this guy got emotions, got families, you know, got a lot of things that is passing through and putting this also, you are just trying to sink him. I know that God is with David o. that is something I believe.